I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We are exploring questions related to the acute angle which line makes with the axis. We call it slope angle. And here is a variation to the same question. Now the question is, find the acute angle which the line 2x minus 3y equals to 6 makes with vertical y axis. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Right? We'll actually sketch this line and then find the solution. We are given the equation of the line as 2x minus 3y equals to 6. Let's rearrange. We get 2x minus 6 equals to 3y. Or we could write y equals to 2 over 3x minus 6 over 3, which is y equals to 2 over 3x minus 2. So that means that we have a vertical y intercept as minus 2, so that becomes one point. Slope is 2 over 3, going up 2 and then 3 units. So that becomes the line, right? So we get a line which is kind of like this. So that becomes our line 2x minus 3y equals to 6 clear so you've also seen how to sketch a line so this y intercept is 2 and we just figured out that this should be 3 okay when we say find acute angle which this line makes with y axis then from the question you can visualize that the acute angle really is this angle right we need to find this angle let's call this angle as theta Now, we know this is called the slope angle. So, we'll first find the slope angle and then find the angle theta. So, let's call this slope angle as, as alpha, right? So, in that case, we know tan of alpha is equal to the slope 2 over 3, which is the slope. So alpha is equals to tan inverse of 2 over 3. So let's use calculator, find this value. Shift tan inverse 2 divided by 3 equals to uh, 33.69. So we get alpha equals to 33.69. So that is the angle. Let's write it to 33.7 degrees to one decimal place. Now, you need to find theta. How do we find that? So clearly, this is also equal to alpha, right? These two angles are equal. So this angle is also 33.7. Now, since we have a right angle, we can always say theta is equal to 90 degrees minus 33.7. So we get the angle with the y-axis, correct? This is a complementary angle. 90 minus 33.7, and that gives you in decimals 56.3. Perfect. So that is how you find angle of a line with the y-axis. With the x-axis, you need to find the slope angle. With the y-axis, it is always a complementary angle, as we have seen in this particular example. Correct? So our answer is 56.3 degrees with y-axis. So I hope these steps are clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.